big news today for Remedy. We are partnering with Annapurna to co-finance Control 2. We hope you're as excited about what this means for our creative output and ongoing independence as we are. We are also happy to announce that Annapurna will work with us on expanding the Control and Alan Wake franchises into film and TV. I think they tweeted about it here too. So you've been asking about Control 2 and we have some news. Remedy Entertainment will be self-publishing Control 2 and we're partnering with Annapurna on financing the game. This means we'll be able to build exactly the game we want with the support of an expert partner passionate about creativity and boundary pushing. And the reason why that's such big news, why that's uh, good news, in fact, is because if you think about all of Remedy's problems, honestly, since Alan Wake, really, it has been problems caused by their publisher. So, for example, Alan Wake, published by Microsoft. What happened? Well, <laughs> Xbox and Microsoft did not greenlight Alan Wake 2. And then almost 10 years passed, Remedy had to buy the IP back from Microsoft just to start working on Alan Wake 2. So there's that. Quantum Break, what happened? Microsoft was the publisher. Remedy still doesn't have the rights to Quantum Break and they prob they might never have them. I don't know. We've gotten allusions to Quantum Break within Alan Wake 2, but they don't own that IP. Microsoft still owns it and it's still shelved for the foreseeable future. Control was published by 505 Games. I think at the time, 505 said you had to basically buy the game again to upgrade um, additions, and then eventually they made the upgrade free. Alan Wake 2, who published that? Epic Games. What did we get? Exclusivity to the Epic Store, digital only for the first year, and then Sweet Baby Inc. I, I don't know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Sweet Baby Inc. was a requirement of Epic, but I don't think it's a coincidence that the one game that Epic published of Remedies also has Sweet Baby in it. I don't think it's a coincidence. So now they are self-publishing, which is great news. That means no more agendas thrust on them from larger companies. But here's the part that I'm not 100% sure where I stand. So we're partnering with Annapurna on financing the game. So if we go and look up Annapurna Interactive, you'll see I looked this up earlier. This is who they are, according to their website. So they're a publisher and developer. And here's a bunch of games of theirs. A bunch of games I honestly don't recognize, but then Lost Wild, I'm hyped for that. I hope that actually comes out. Cocoon, I'm sure most people have heard of that one. Stray, I think we've all heard of that one. 12 Minutes, I like that game a lot. That was a good one. And Outer Wilds and Journey, Gone Home. God, that game sucked. <laughs> I hated that one. A lot of people seem to like What Remains of Edith Finch. I've never played that one myself. The pattern that I'm seeing here is that they obviously don't have a problem with the niche markets. They don't have a problem with um, passion projects, expressions of creativity from games. Nothing about these games screams blockbuster, bestseller, mass appeal, right? So that tells me that Remedy uh, should not have any problem getting to make the types of games they want to make, from what I can tell. I touched on it earlier, but we're about to get into it even more now. I'm thrilled to start expanding Alan Wake and our Remedy Connected Universe Beyond Games to build this in close collab, games, film, TV as one unified vision. That's crazy. That's nuts. Last I'd heard about anything television related, Remedy was working with AMC. I don't know if that fell through or what. Now they're they're being more active about saying, hey, we're putting this in live action television and film. Uh, let's let's get some of this right here. Let's get Ilka Vili. Let's get Courtney Hope. Uh, let's get them in a TV show or movies or whatever. Please don't marvel fi it, Remedy. Don't give us so much that we can't take it all. So Control 2 is being self-published now. I have so much higher hopes for it at this point after hearing that. And I'm also excited to hear about live action stuff. And he says as one vision. So that tells me maybe they won't adapt the already existing material into live action. Maybe they'll just have additive material that exists in the universe. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. No more epic requirements for digital only, for epic exclusivity, for sweet baby. None of that. None of that. They get to keep their IP so it's not stuck on a shelf like with Microsoft and Alan Wake and Quantum Break. 